He's, he's a great uh, chase, uh, chase uh, TD, all those guys. He's a great leader. He has so much money in the locker room. Outside, too, but how, outside it wasn't for you. Was yeah. Yeah. So obviously you've gotten multiple chances to compete and contribute because of injuries to other guys. But what has it said that, or what have you learned from the older guys that allowed you to have success early on in your, your playing career? Uh, just be ready. It's the biggest thing. Uh, be ready. Uh, stay ready. Um, get ready. Um, Dre and Evan, other safeties, they've taught me a lot. Just little things, leverage, your uh, back pedal, reading the QBs. So just those guys um, helped me a lot, and then when time came, I was able to uh, play. So. Did you have a strong sense going into that game that you would play a lot, especially in the second half? Uh, I go in with the same after every game, ready to play whenever, whenever it happens. So I feel like I, I expected something more or less. But, uh, my number got called, and when it happened, I went out there and did what I could do. So. What did you think about just how you guys shut them out in that second half? Uh, it, was, it was impressive. Uh, our DB coach was in the locker room a little bit. He was telling us we had to play a little better. So the second half going out there and sending him out was, uh, was, was big. He was proud of us. So that was, was very impressive for us to do. Uh, you guys made the adjustment. It started with base defense and then kind of changed what you were doing a little bit. Uh, what's that like kind of on the sidelines or in the defensive meetings during the game? Yeah, uh, yeah. We, so we have a lot of little schemes over, like you said, base, things like that. Uh, but as you know, in a game, things happen. So, but AP, he, he does a good job of uh, keeping us with control. But I think it's what we're going to do with our uh, scheme wise. So it's not too bad on the field. Uh, we have changes like that. It's not too bad. Uh, it's quick changes, but, but we react to it really well. And how did it feel just playing in the Rose Bowl? And it was exciting, man. Uh, that's, that's every kid's dream is playing in the Rose Bowl. So uh, for me being able to go out there and see some playing time was uh, super exciting. It was a dream come true. I had so much fun. And uh, hopefully, in a couple months, we can be back over there and do it again. What is it about halftime adjustments that have allowed you guys to be so successful in the second half? I know two of the last four weeks it's been a shutout in the second half, and it's something like, I think, 23 points total in the second yeah. half this year. It's, I mean, it's to our coaches. Uh, they're, we have great coaches who know what they're doing. So uh, the first half, things happen. At halftime, they, they, uh, instead of seeing how the game goes, they uh, come back and talk to us. This one needs to be changed, and we listen to them. That's all we do is listen to them. So it's really all coaches. I mean, we don't take any of the credit. Second half, shutouts, nothing like that. It's all coaches. We just listen to them, really, and that's what happens. Since Tanner McKee has taken over at quarterback for Stanford, their downfield passing game has been a lot better than it has mm -hmm. been in years past. What do you see on film that you guys have to be aware of, and how do you guys plan to stop that? Uh, I don't want to say too much about our scheme and stuff, but just, yeah, we, yeah, we, we know Tanner can uh, throw the ball down the field. Uh, he has a great vertical sense, so the, our coach has been stressing us to uh, stay deep. Say that as a safety, you as a safety, you know, stay deep. You don't want to uh, let the ball get behind you. So that's, that's the only thing, really. Stay deep and uh, make plays on the ball, really, when it happens. Because they do throw the ball down the field a lot, a lot of 50 50 balls. So when it happens, when it comes to us, we got to make a play, get a pick. What is the vibe like, kind of now knowing that you guys are probably the hunted team in, in the Pac 12 South? It feels good. Uh, everyone wants us to play us, everyone wants to play us. And uh, we want everybody to play. We, we want everyone's best game. Uh, I guess this team is super special. Uh, we think we could win the South. We think we could win the World Bowl. So uh, it's very special. We have a very special team. We're ready for everybody who comes our way, uh, home our way. We're going to give everybody our all. So, yeah, I mean, the vibe is, yeah, we're hungry. We're ready for anybody who, who has a problem with us. Come see us, really. Just come see us. What's it been like for you with uh, how many veteran guys there are in this secondary? Just kind of learning from them, talking to them about things that they've picked up over the years. Oh, I love it. I mean, yeah, having Chase, Jack, Dre, Evan, all those best, TD, I love it. I mean, I'm just learning more and more every day. Me being younger uh, and having them who's, who's played so many snaps throughout the college career teach me things. It's, it's a blessing. Uh, so one day I can step up and do what they're doing. So yeah, it's about love. It's a blessing. Um, I'm thankful for them every day. I tell them all the time, I love y'all. Like, I appreciate y'all. So yeah, I love it a lot. I like it a lot. Thanks, Steve.